All right, in this lesson, I'll take you through the process of downloading the Anaconda distribution from Continuum Analytics. Now, this will be the first in a sequence of lessons that focuses on the installation and setup process on a Mac OS X computer. And immediately following this group, there'll be another group of lessons that's focused on the installation and setup process on a Microsoft Windows computer. So if you're running this on uh, Windows, feel free to just skip forward to the proper lesson and start from there. These lessons are basically going to be the same. There's just a few different tweaks between the Mac and the Windows systems. So I'm currently doing the Mac version, so I've headed to Google and I'm going to search for Anaconda. So the Anaconda downloads page from Continuum Analytics should be uh, one of the top links. For me, it's number one. It should be this Download Anaconda Now page. And it'll take you to the download page. And if I scroll down a bit here, we'll see that OS X is selected. Your computer's operating system should automatically be selected among these tabs. If for some reason you don't have the proper result, you can just click on the proper operating system and get your uh, download options. So for the Mac OS X computers, we have two options here. We have Python 3.5 and Python 2.7 right below. So just like with most software and hardware related things, the lower number represents the older version. So Python 2.7 is the older version of the language. Python 3.5 is the latest version of the language. The reason that Python 2.7 is still available is because whenever they introduce the latest version, which is Python 3, um, the old code, the legacy code, is not instantly compatible with Python th uh, 3. So what a lot of companies did is keep their code in Python 2.7. They haven't upgraded it or migrated it to the latest version with uh, that much speed or efficiency. Uh, so the development community of Python is kind of split up in two different development paths, one focusing on Python 2.7 and one on Python 3.5. In our case, I doubt we're going to be dealing with any legacy code or any old code. If you're a developer with you know, a different scenario, then by all means, focus on whichever one is more uh, fit for you. But in our case, if you're just diving into Python for the first time and you just want everything set up to be the latest and most up-to-date version, uh, you should choose the Python 3.5 option. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to choose Graphical Installer up here and that's going to begin the download. You can skip this email unless you want to sign up for Continuum Updates and that'll begin the download process for the Anaconda distribution. Now the package installer itself is pretty large. As we can see here, it's more than a third of a gigabyte. So depending on your internet connection, it may take a few minutes to download. But once it's done in the next lesson, I'll take you through the process of setting up the Anaconda distribution on our Mac machines. And that will actually be the very first step. After that, we'll also have to dive into our computer's terminal in order to download some additional Python libraries, update some other Python libraries, and finally show you how we can launch our IDE, which is Jupyter Notebooks, directly from the command line. So here I've successfully downloaded the file. Let's keep it. And now it should be in my downloads folder. And in the next lesson, I'll pick up from that folder and begin the installation process.